Hybridization of SO3, you asked for the hybridization of SO3, yes. So how can you just know what is the hybridization of SO3? First of all, uh, there are a few day, ways to draw the, sorry, to know the hybridization of SO3. Uh, the first is, first you should draw the structure of SO3. So you should, first of all, so you should, first of all, you should how many, well, you should how many knee and three. When there are double bonds, one will be pi, one will be sigma bond. Okay, so these are the three pi bonds. How many? Three. So these are the three pi bonds. How many? Three pi bonds. What do you have to do? Write S, P, D, and F. You know that S has one orbital, P has three orbital, D has five orbital, and it has seven orbital. These are three, write three like from here, in which one will be S and P will be two. So these are two plus one, three, three pi. So this hybridization is sp3. What is the hybridization? sp3. So this is the one way. And this is very easy way if you know the structure, if you know the structure, okay? So you can know the hybridization very easily. Uh, the second way is, the second way you want to know the hybridization is, if, what do you have to do? First of all, what do you have to do? Uh, count all the outermost electrons, like the, the electrons in the valence shell. Valence shell electrons. If there are some valence shell electrons, then you can know valence shell electrons. Yes, then you can know that uh, what is the hybridization. How? You know that sulfur and oxygen they are in one group. Sulfur and oxygen are in one group. So sulfur has six electrons in outermost shell. Oxygen has also six. So one, two, three, four. So all the four atoms in SO3 have six electrons. So I will multiply six with four. This is 24. So the total are 24 electrons in SO3. Now there is a simple rule. If the electrons are, these electrons are two to eight divided by two. If these are more than eight, just divide by eight. And there is the rule and you can solve the hybridization. Now, what you have to do is uh, 2 to 8, so this is, sorry, more than 8, 24 divided by 8. 24 divided by 8, 24. This is 3. Now what you have to do is, A plus B plus D plus A. And this one from A is sp2. So the hybridization in SO3 is sp2. Now there is for oxygen, there is a very, very simple rule is if oxygen has one double bond, so each oxygen has sp3 hybridization. If it, if it has a double bond, then it is sp2 hybridization. And if it has a triple burn it's sp hybridization and one but in here you can follow number one the pi electron this way if the number of electrons in the var this one now what is this three like you got the three from here three from here this is the number of orbitals number of orbitals so how many number of orbitals are there? So you can know from this this way, this way, this trick. And this is a very good trick. And maybe you solve any kind of hybridization. Pi electrons. And then you should know from here. And the second one, you can, what you can do is, uh, you can, everyone, okay, you're, Two, 
सर याद तो नहीं होगा टेंशन और भी ज्यादा हो जाएगी ओके सी यू मीन अली शुडन आई मेक द वीडियो फॉर दिस एंड अरीज खान ओह यस आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस या मैं यू लिव लॉन्ग सर थैंक यू वेरी मच एडिटोरियन सर्जन यूल बी सर्जन वेरी सोन इन तुम लोग याद है मुझे तो ऐसा ही फील के मैं हर एक मैं ट्रिक था दो हज़ार अठारह वाले टेस्ट में ओके अरीज थैंक यू थैंक्स टू ऑल ये फातमा खान थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द कमेंटिंग एंड इफ देर इज एनी डिफिकल्ट कमेंट मी नाउ एंड आई कैन जस्ट टेल यू हाउ कैन यू जस्ट नो the hybridization of anything okay uh, let me talk about the hybridization of h2o and uh, the others the easy one which are expected if there is any you want to know the hybridization you can tell me now okay so until i must tell you and the hybridization for example you want to know the hybridization of h2o what is the hybridization in h2o look there is a very simple if a single bond this is sp3 a single bond so the bond uh, electrons of the electrons of the valence so oxygen has so to sorry this becomes 8 and then divide the 8 4 so now you know that this is 4 and s and f completed from there like the s1 p3 d5 and f7 completed sp3 do you understand 3 plus 1 4 so this is sp3 and you can know about everyone like you can calculate about everything you can know about this as well nh3 for anyone else anyone which is which you have okay geometric isomerism ke bata de simple method okay thanks sir and preface the was a for yes i am praying for you so how to bind strike okay so thank you very much about your in